Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing type 2 of calculus of variation that is function of higher order derivatives problem number 1. Welcome back friends, till now we are done with the type 1 of calculus of variation. Now we are moving with the type 2 and type 2 is function of higher order derivatives. For example, see friends, till now we got the functional as in terms of x, y and y dash. This was the old story. The problem used to look like this x0 to x1 or x1 to x2 and so on. This was the functional till now. Now we are moving ahead. Here the functional will be in terms of x, y, y dash, y double dash, y triple dash and so on into dx. This is called function of higher order derivative. y dash is your first order derivative. Now we will be having higher order derivatives. If you observe the problems that we did till now, in all the problems, either you had x, y or y dash, x, y, y dash, any combination of them. We didn't have y double dash, y triple dash and so on. Now for the first time, we'll be having y dash, y triple dash, double dash and so on. Therefore, by Euler's equation, Equation will be modified here. If you remember the first equation, that is dou f upon dou y minus d by dx of dou f upon dou y dash. If you remember, there was only y dash. Now it will be y double dash also. It will be alternate plus minus in the formula. First is plus minus, then it is plus d square dx square dou f upon dou y double dash alternate plus minus then it is minus d cube dx cube dou f upon dou y triple dash plus dot 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 equal to zero. This is the modified Euler's equation for handling function of higher order derivatives. Let's have a look on the problem. Here friends in this video in this problem f is equal to 2xy plus y double dash square. See this functional. Here it is we do have x, y and y double dash. This is the first time I am having higher order derivative. We used to have x, y and y dash. For the very first time we do have y double dash. Therefore by Euler's equation dou f upon dou y minus d by dx of dou f upon dou y dash. In the problem we do have y double dash. Therefore we will go up to y double dash. dou f upon dou y double dash equal to 0. Let's put the value of f. dou upon dou y f is 2xy plus y double dash square. Then I am going to put here that is minus d by dx dou upon dou y dash of f that is 2xy plus y double dash square plus d square upon dx square dou of dou y double dash of 2xy plus y double dash square equal to 0. Let's differentiate. With respect to y, all the others are constant like x, y, x, y dash, y double dash, whatever there in the problem. Here with respect to y, in this term 2x is constant, y derivative is 1. This derivative is 0 because with respect to y, y double dash is a constant. Minus d by dx of with respect to y dash, this derivative is 0 as well as this 0. That means entire term is 0 because there is no y dash. d square upon dx square y double dash. This is 0 and this is y double dash the whole square. That means 2y double dash. 
equal to zero. This two will come out. This is actually zero. Two x plus two d square upon dx square y double dash is d two y upon dx square equal to zero. What next? This two x. Take that side and write down as minus two x. Therefore, two d square and this multiplied inside will become four derivative d square d square d raised to four. Therefore, two this will become d raised to four y upon d x raised to four minus two x. This will be cancelled. Therefore, d raised to four y upon d x raised to four is equal to cf we are left with minus x there are four derivatives cf pi or integration think cf pi or integration what yes it has to be integration because here it is only x if it would be x and y then it will be cf plus pi therefore i need to integrate four times let me integrate once if i'll integrate once i'll be left with three derivatives one derivative will be cancelled first integration minus x integration is minus x square by 2 plus c one more integration with respect to x i'll be left with two derivatives one more integration minus half is constant x square integration is x cube by 3 plus c integration is cx plus one constant of integration that is c1 therefore d square y upon dx square is minus 1 upon 6 x cube plus cx plus c1 what next friends we are left with the two more derivatives two more times integration let's move on one more integration you are left with the dy by dx minus 1 upon 6 constant what is x cube integration x raised to 4 upon 4 plus c constant x x square by 2 plus c1 is constant integration is c1 x plus one constant of integration c2 therefore dy by dx minus 1 upon 24 x raised to 4 c by 2 x square c1 x plus c2 let's integrate one more time therefore y is equal to if i'll integrate one more time finally i'll get y minus 1 upon 24 is constant x raised to 4 integration is x raised to 5 upon 5 this c by 2 is constant x square integration is x cube by 3 this c1 is constant x integration is x square by 2 this c2 is constant one integration is x plus one more constant of integration c3 simply we got the solution but if you want to write it down you can write it down in a better way see this is your constant let's name it with another constant let's say it is c4 this is also constant let's say it is c5 this is also constant let's say it is c6 plus c2x plus c3 this is the required solution in terms of y is equal to fx you can leave your answer this step also no problem but if you replace with the constants your answer will look good hope you understood we're done with the problem thank you